Good morning peeps, James Atkins Fishing here again. Um, I've come back to a place where I had my biggest bream and that is a broom pits in Bungay, Norfolk, just inside Norfolk. Now I've come to the different side of the lake because it's supposed to be mega hot today in the 30s. So I'm on this side of the lake and the sun rises up over there and then that comes round behind me so I've got several hours before it comes behind that tree and burn me to a crisp. <laughs> I'll try and show you the lake although it's going to be difficult because it's foggy as you can see look. <laughs> Mind you it is 5.22. <laughs> I was here but it's dark I was trying to set up but I had to let some more light come in. <laughs> you might say I'm mad I've got one rod set up which is my Horizon Pro Distance. I'm just going to have a feel about out there to see if I can find a bit of a gravel bar out there. I can't, there is an island over there, but I can't see it very well at the minute. The last time I was fishing, I was over there, the other side, fishing towards that tree there, I think. Yeah, I was over there, that side, just around that corner slightly. But I was told this can be a good peg. So let's give it a go. I'll have a feel around with the bomb, as you can see. I've got, well, not a bomb, it's the method feeder, but with no hook link on it. So I can just have a feel around, see if I can find a bar. All right? So I'll catch you in a minute. <laughs> well, peeps, I've fed the swim heavily. Um, exactly the same distance as I was the last time I was here. Not because that's how I had it um, clipped up, it's because I thought, well, I'll, I'll go 40, and then I thought, now I'll go 45. I've heavily fed the swim with the big old carp rod and spom or spod, whichever you like to call it. And I'm out there in that shade of that tree. Well, where that duck is now, just the other side of that duck. No, it that's, that's a grebe. Just the other side of that grebe in that big tree there. All right. And the sun is trying to poke through the fog. It's clearing a bit and it's now starting to mist up again. All right, so I'm now gonna go out with the first cast. I'm baited up. I won't show you that because that's exactly the same as I was before. So I'll put it in the stand and I'll show you where I'm going, all right? Let's get out. It's the same method feeder with a fat boy Fuka bait. All right, let's take the glasses off so I don't drop them. <laughs> let's get out there for the first go. I really heavily fed it like I told I should do. Lovely, hit the clip, beautiful. And I reckon that's about eight foot deep out there, I reckon. We'll get in that way. Right, set the tip. Sink the line a bit quicker than that. And there we are, set the stopwatch. And let's see how we do today. I'd like to try and, I'd love to try and beat my biggest one I had out here, what was that? Eight pounds six, wasn't it? So that's my target today. I've just got to drop that tip down close to the water, that's better. Oh, here we go. Hopefully catch you in a little while with a fish on. <laughs> right, it's a bit slow, I've had one liner. That's all I've had today, so far. And the reason I've come here again is because I knew if I could get on this side, I'm gonna be shaded by those trees. And that's just reflecting off the water in the face. So it's not too bad. I can see my tip all right, because the sun's on this side this time. Right, let's get it back out again. Watch. Leaving at 12 minute casts. I've had one liner. A lot of carp crashing around this morning at first as it was getting light. And about 
15 minutes ago, just over there on the edge of that island. That was a massive one. <laughs> really big and too. And I've seen a lot of bubbles coming up over there. I might try over there in a little while, but I have to walk out in the water to cast over there because there's a overhanging tree. So that'll be very awkward, but it's warming up. But the fish aren't. <laughs> Still, I'll get back to you in a bit, hopefully. <laughs> Well, at last, it's been hours and I've had a liner and now I had one near take the tip in. <laughs> That's a nice bream. Yeah, nice dark ones. That's a good one. One. Perhaps that took all that time to find my ground bait. Well, at least I haven't blanked. Oh, oh, oh. It's very shallow here, but there you go, in a man. Yes, it's a bruiser. The right old bruiser. First fish of the day. <laughs> Make sure I got him in shot if I don't catch any more. Called warm as toast. Look at the size of that. It's not going to beat my eight pound yet, but oh, oh, brilliant. Lovely old jubbly, mate. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's have a cup of tea. You can't beat a cup of tea. You don't get much time to do this when you're pole fishing, but <laughs> you have to stop. Oops, careful. Just want that tip to go around at least once more. It's very pleasant sitting here in the shade. But I can see everybody else around here in t-shirts and that. And the chap who just come and collected my day ticket money. He said it's mega hot when you're in the sun over there, so it's a good choice I made today, because, pardon me, as I said last time I was here, uh, two weeks ago, I was round that side, and that was hot, and <laughs> that was mega hot. <laughs> Still, I'll see if I can film that if I get a bite. Well, we're in again. Another nice bream. That was, oh, that's only two minutes and 30 seconds. Well, it's two minutes and 30 seconds now, so. Oh, that's about a minute and a half, that one. Quite some shallow close in here, poor old thing. <laughs> Oh, 
has another nice one. Not bad, a lot of slime on him, let me get it off. <laughs> alright mate, alright. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Number two. Woohoo! Well we're in again. Hopefully with my third fish. Been very quiet for the last couple of hours. Yeah, it's donking a little bit. Or has it found a snag? Or has it decided to wake up? Whoop! Pigeon nearly hit my line. I don't think it picked up on camera. <laughs> yes, it's holding back now. Yeah, another nice bream. That's what I'm after in here today. Yeah, it's a good dark colour, so that's a good size. They've been off the feed for a long while. So. And the pigeon come past again. <laughs> He's building a nest on my left hand side here and he keep going getting the stuff out on the right hand side. Lovely, got one. Yeah, not a bad one. It's not going to beat my best, but that's still a nice one. Where are you? Yeah, it's not bad size. <coughs> Come here. Get all the muck off him, so he's good on film. <laughs> there we are, number three. Nice size, right dark. Oh, booty. Oh, there we go. Let's put him back. I have to put him out a long way because it's quite shallow out here in front of me. There we are. That was a good one. Well peeps, a very slow day today. I expected a few more on that. But there you go, three good sized bream. I'm happy with them. I would have been a bit happier with a few more, but there you go, that's how the cookie crumbles. As you all know, as you're fishing, some days you catch a lot, sometimes you don't. Still, hope you enjoyed what I have filmed, and I'll catch you again another day. I've been talking to a chap today. He's shown me, or told me where there's some decent waters again. So, but there's a lake over the back here I'm gonna have a go at next time I come here. Anyway, I'll catch you again in my next one. Bye bye for now.